Well, good evening, everybody. This is Michael Oskam with ProAudioLessons.com. Got another lesson for you here today. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to import certain session data into an existing session. Um, in particular, this tutorial will show you how to import plugins and the plugin settings or parameters from one session into another session. So in front of us here today we have a session uh, from Johnny Oscam's new album and um, we've already mixed about half of the album so there's a few songs done already that have all of the necessary processing in particular the drum processing and we want there to be a cohesive sound throughout the record we want we want each song, although the composition and the guitar tones and all that are different, we want a unified sound in terms of sonic quality and some of the uh, harmonic content that we're introducing to get it kind of vintage sounding. So the more cohesive the entire album sounds together, uh, the, the better the project will turn out. So one way to do this is, is we've already spent hours upon hours putting together plug-in chains for previous songs and to rebuild those plugin chains would take a lot a lot of time so what Pro Tools and other DAWs allow you to do is is I can go so this is a session that's not completed as you can see I started doing some processing up here and I just don't like the way that this is turning out it's not sounding as though it belongs on the same record as the other songs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the plugin settings from another session that's already completed that we're happy with the sounds on and that way that'll give us a really good jumping off point for this song to get started uh, on the same level playing field in terms of sonic quality let me show you how to do that come into file up here and you're gonna import and you're gonna go to session data now once you do that you're gonna be prompted in your finder to find a session and um, Badlands is a song that's on his album and this song has similar characteristics in terms of instrumentation and tones that we're looking for. So I'm going to select that session and click open. Now this window here is quite powerful. It allows you to do a, not any number of things. You can import any session data you really want. And so what I'm going to do is, is first I'm going to say match tracks. And since I name tracks similarly in every session that I'm in, it should line up for the most part. So watch what happens. I'll say click tracks, or excuse me, click match tracks, and as you can see, it's matched up pretty much everything. The ones in blue are matched up. Now the ones that aren't matched up are um, are tracks that are in the session that I'm importing from that don't exist in the session I'm importing to. So a lot of times what you'll do, so, so for example, there's a stereo audio track called Overheads. I don't want that track. There's an overheads right. We'll need that to be overhead right. So you got to go through and match up some, especially if they're not named exactly correct. Once you got that part correct, the next um, challenge or the next thing you want to do is, which, is select which session data you want to import. So down here you see you can import tempo, key signature, windows, memory locs, all sorts of stuff like that. You can even, uh, if you were to bring in uh, other audio from another session, you could do that. But all I'm looking for in this instance are the plugins and the plugin parameters. So first what I'm going to do is click Main Playlist Options, Do Not Import. We don't want to replace any of the audio. The audio that's in this session is the audio we want to be working with. We want to be working in the tempo that this session already is in and the key, so we're not going to import any of that information. So we're down here where it says Track Data to Import, it by default is going to select all of this information we're gonna say none because it's just easier to select and turn them all off and then just turn on what you want after none is selected we're gonna come in here and you'll find plugin assignments and plugin settings and automation okay now watch what happens when I click OK it's gonna import and overwrite all the existing plugins on those channels give it a moment here to do its thing so just like that, you can see I've imported all of the session information in terms of the plugins. My uh, mix bus is turned on with everything. Um, everything is in place. Now, when I hit play, it's not going to sound great, uh, but the pieces are in place for me to go back and start tweaking. It already sounds pretty good. I haven't touched a thing. And 
I'm running out of plug-in power. All right, so you get the idea, guys. Hope this was helpful. I know it saves me hours upon hours, so I hope you can incorporate this into your workflow. Uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future. Hope your mixes are going well. Feel free to subscribe, please, and email me if you have any questions or if you're seeking private lessons. That's something I offer as well. Take care, guys.